Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. So someone just bought my last four EX Team Rocket Return turns heavy packs off of the website. His name is Ganim Al Kawari. Hope I pronounced that correctly. He's from Quadar or Ketar. I'm not sure if I said that correctly either, but he wanted me to open up open them up on the video so you guys get to enjoy that as well. So we're gonna start off with this Scyther artwork. I can't remember what card it is. I think it's maybe the third from the back. We'll just give it a shot. Probably the third and fourth, maybe the parallel hollow, then the hollow. And if we get it wrong, then we'll have it figured out, hopefully for the second pack. There we go. Alright. Now it's gonna be hard to top a Trico Gold Star, but I'm really hoping that we can. I guess you'd need a mud kip or torching. Maybe like a square cut one or something. That'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? So I believe this one should be the hollow. That's the third from the back. That should be the parallel hollow if I'm looking at it correctly. You guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Maybe even turn on notifications if you want to be notified every day when usually I put out these videos at 12 o'clock. It really helps out to see the, the subscriber count grow. So we have Dratini, Psyduck, Sandshrew, got Larvitar. Look at him bouncing on that tiny little foot. Got Centret. Dark Golduck. Man, that's pretty cool. There was a Dark Golduck that was originally printed in Team Rocket. I think I like this one better. I like the way they mesh the blue and the darkness. Just looks really cool. We have Pokemon Retriever as the other uncommon. So this should be, I believe, the Parallel Hollow. And it is. We have Skiploom, which is... That's an uncommon. If you're not familiar with rarities, the diamond means that it's uncommon. You have a dot for commons, a diamond for uncommons, and a star for rares. So this one's pretty cool. You got all the different energy symbols in the background. You can see darkness. You see colorless, psychic, steel. You got water, fire, lightning, or electric. Oh, it is lightning in it. I think we said psychic. What's that one right there? Yeah, that's a lightning one. That one almost looks incomplete right there beside the lightning. And there's fighting over there. So that's pretty cool. And then there was a grass as well. But then parallel hollow means that it's holographic. And then it says it has EX Team Rocket Returns on there. But this card is normally just a non-holographic card. All right, so on to the first hollow. We have Kingdra. There we go. That was one of the classic cards from the set that did not actually have dark in the name. But still pretty cool. I, I think it would be really cool maybe to pull like a... What was it? I think it was Dark Dragonite. You can get several of those, but that's pretty cool. It does have a print line right there. Two light ones up there. Let's see how the back side looks. The back side condition looks great, other than that little white dot right there. Alright, so we have our first hollow. We still have three more packs to go. Next one up is a Tyranitar artwork. Those of you who uh, have been wondering about my father-in-law, he did take a step backwards. We, uh, we probably let him go home a little too too early and uh, he ended up going off of his medications which you know I don't take medications much myself really however in this case he needed to take some of his medications and I, I think it um, it set him back a little too far but anyways on to our second pack we have Rattata, Horsey, Magnemite being attracted to other Magnemites around some power lines which I have been shocked by a power line before. You know, you can actually touch one power line and you're fine. However, we had carried up some long bamboo sticks from down at the end of our street, which was about a mile or so, and we were carrying them on our backs. I mean, we were walking in the middle of the road like hoodlums. I mean, it was they were probably 30, 40 foot wide, and we couldn't walk sideways the whole mile. And uh, by the time I got back, you know, we just threw those bamboo sticks in the yard and I remember grabbing one on the bottom end and was trying to lift it up and I had it positioned between my legs and I was trying to pull it up and it kept getting caught and I was touching one power line I didn't know this and I pulled I jerked really hard and it connected to a second power line which then sent a shock down the green bamboo and to my area and I dropped immediately I ended up being fine I'm glad the bamboo was halfway dead otherwise the shock could have been very damaging to my livelihood later on in life my friends were laughing but it, it was fun and I learned something you know once you do touch that second power line there is electrical current that's going to come down through there so we have Dratini, Onyx, 
Dark Dragonair. I believe there are two different Dark Dragonairs in this set. You have the 31 and then you also have the 32. Both are pretty tough to get um, in PSA 10 on the parallel hollow side from what I've gathered. I mean a lot of cards from the EX Team Rocket Return set are pretty tough just because they had that slight curve around the, the edges. And we've got another Dark Pokemon, so two for two there. We've got the Dark Magneton. Alright, so here's the parallel hollow. Come on, Dark Dragonite. Oh, it's a Mareep. Well, I was hoping for the Dark Dragonite. Still, I mean, these parallel hollows, in my opinion, look way better than the standard reverse hollow that they do now. Got the, the energies going on in the background, got the set name. It just looks like they took more time and put a quality effort into the card itself. All right, next up. Come on, let's get us an EX, is that? Okay, I saw that little black dot right there and I thought it was on the card, but that's just on the case, it's on the outside. So let's look at the back side first. It looks like it's a little off center, but overall the condition looks pretty good. Ooh, pile of swine. So another one of the non-dark holographic cards. Got a sunset going on back there, kind of cool. It almost looks like a blob that's sweating. If you guys think that's something else, maybe you can clue me in, but it looks like sweat on the outside of his thick, thick fur. And of course he's got his pig nose and the two tusks. Alright, two more packs. Here we go. Dragging them out. EX Team Rocket Returns. I like to savor these because I'm probably not going to get any more EX Team Rocket Returns packs in. I believe I have a few heavy ones on eBay, but for the most part, I, I've rarely seen these come up in collections. Not like Watsy stuff that's just there all the time. And Watsy stuff, I love Watsy stuff. I mean, that's I mean, I deal in it, but probably a reason I do deal in it so much is because it's readily available, uh, a lot more so than the EX series. And that's why I think the prices of the EX series rival or surpass a lot of the Wizards of the Coast sets. Even though those are the original and they have first editions uh, boxes for the most part, and you know they're way older. You know these EX series. Uh, they do have a connection that makes um, that people make to to their nostalgic you know past of playing with the cards, but they're way more rare. They're just way more rare. Wait, is this the hollow? Oh, well, let's just turn it around. Okay, yeah, that's the parallel hollow. For a second there, I thought I thought that one might be it. So we have us another uh, parallel non-dark hollow. We have the Zubat. Man, those energies really pop on that one. Got that crescent moon. Well, almost. It looks like a, more like a cookie that it's been bitten out of. All right, so we'll set that one off, and then, come on, let's get us an EX or a gold star. Ooh, Jump Luff. Well, at least you can evolve. I mean, you got Skip Loom, and then you have the Jump Luff. Let's see if we got anything going on. This different type of hollow pattern there, you can tell, doesn't have the energies going on. It's not the parallel hollow. Now, you can get this as a parallel hollow or in the reverse hollow spot and it would have the energies going on the background it should say EX Team Rocket Returns and then I believe those may also have like a holographic name and then a holographic star for the rarity maybe we'll pull one of those in the last pack that's pretty pretty good condition I think I see a light print line up here at the top but yeah, it's pretty light and then maybe a slight one right there back side Centering is a little better, still not you know optimal, but have a good shot. Nine, probably like a week ten if it did get to ten. All right, so we have one more pack to go. We have the Scyther artwork. Still looking for that EX or Gold Star. Maybe even we could pull us a um, like a dark holographic. That'd be pretty cool. It's one, two, then we have three, four. Did I even? I don't even think I went through the the non hollows in the last pack, did I? All right, so that should be the reverse hollow, and this should be the hollow, or the parallel hollow and the hollow. Okay, so let's go through that first. I can't believe I just skipped over it. We've got Whooper. There's that Magnemite again. Spinarak, Drowsy, and his bed of pillows. We have Slowpoke playing in the leaves. We have Magmar, and then we have Dark Metal Energy. That was pretty good. I think this one. In reverse hollow, it gets pretty expensive. Here we have Rimmeraid for this pack, Ladyba. We have another Magikarp. Well, not another Magikarp, a Magikarp. There is a Magikarp in Fire Red Leaf Green that you can get as a common and a uncommon. 
We have Swinub, Ekans. Oh, there we go. We got us a Dark Mag Cargo for one of the uncommons. And then we have a Dark Dragon here. We got the number 31 again. All right, so I think I'm. I think it's this one. Dark Golbat. All right, so we got one of these as a parallel hollow, and it's an uncommon, but still really cool. I think they did a great job with the artwork, trying to work in computer stuff here. Look at that fire energy. Looks like it's sitting on top of the wind that he's blowing. I wonder what attack he's doing. Maybe wing attack. Up here it says night ambush, but probably in the game. I remember he did a lot of wing attack stuff. Let's put that off to the side. All right, here we go. The last hollow, hopefully an EX or a gold star. Ooh, well, we didn't get that, but at least we got us a dark Pokemon. So we got a dark artillery as the hollow. Man, he looks pretty bad right there. Not the blue ring, Dr. Puss, as I'm sure a lot of you in Australia are more familiar with. Those things are venomous, I believe, right? Yeah, they're venomous, not poisonous. Poisonous would be like the puffer fish, where you eat it and you can die. Very cool. Well, we did not get the EX or the Gold Star in this video, but we did get some pretty cool cards. I want to show the Parallel Hollows again. We got Dark Golbat, Skip Loom, Zubat, and Mareep. And then for the Hollows, we have Dark Dark Octillery, we have Jumpluff, Piloswine, and Kingdra. Did pretty good on the Water Pokemon. And, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much to you, Ganem. Um, we hope you come back for some more videos very soon.